Hello everybody and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. In this episode we're going to be trying out the Hydraulic Breaker. Probably, among other things as well. Um, yes, we have loads of rocks that need to be broken up. I'm going to be doing it as a contract though because then we get paid for doing it. Although I'm going to have to rent the machine. But at the same time we can also use the, uh, the machine with a stump grinder. And we can remove the stumps in our yard where I want to do the yard extension. So anyway, first stop is the roller coaster. I have a delivery of staircase rails just here. So they can be uh, slowly processed. If we just go over to the... Oh no, I should just stand here. You can see that we do have the required materials for the next step. And staircase railing requires 1,015 litres and that is going to be decreasing. So we just need a, a few more litres, probably like 15 or 16 litres left. Um, after these to actually complete the staircase railing section. I think uh, some of those things we can actually purchase. Planks, that sort of thing. Um, so we'll come back onto this at a later date. I'm now going to go back over to the store, which is just here, and I'm going to uh, figure out the hydraulic braking rental. I guess first it would be wise to choose one of the contracts. Now they're both worth the exact same amount. Farmland 6 and Farmland 18. I'm going to do whichever one is closest to us. So if we just go on to this map. Right, so we know 18 already. And 6 is there. So I think, yeah, as we already know 18, it would make sense to do that one. So I'm going to accept it. There it is. It's now active. Uh, remove 10 marked rocks with a hydraulic breaker. The owner wants you to destroy specific rocks inside the area. So it does not sound too difficult at all. In fact, it sounds quite fun. Uh, so what I need is a skid steer. I would like to go for this one, but I'm going to have to go for the cheapest one. Because we're doing this for profit, kind of. Well, actually, doing the job is going to sort of pay for the rental of the skid steer so that we can remove our stumps. We'll put it that way. Uh, in fact, it might not even cover that. So next, we then need to go into skid steer loader tools and you can see just there we do have the hydraulic breaker to leave this it's 459 pounds so let's get that attached and uh, yeah i think we're gonna have to drive there i don't have a low loader it would be interesting to try and fit it onto that trailer <laughs> uh maybe i can do we do only have a top speed of seven Bit of tall abuse directly outside the dealer. Don't want to get banned from renting machines in the future. Amazingly, that looks to fit quite well. It sort of works, even though it's completely overloaded. Well, we'll put the straps on, and yeah, we'll head over to Farmland 18. That's actually amazing. It's like it was made to measure. Could do with being a little bit wider. But it works. Fantastic. Here we are. It's our destination. Head down this dirt track. And basically, 10 rocks within this circle, which we're now in. So I think I will just remove the straps there, switch off the tractor in the engine and try and remove this without having a great big smash at the end. Okay, that was not a good start. And that was a bad ending too. Anyway, the point is we're here and we're ready to smash rocks. I need to find them, of course. It's not a massive area, so it really shouldn't be too tricky to do this, to find them. Um, I was thinking that was a rock, but actually no, I think we're looking for something a bit more obvious than that. Yes, they have flags in them. So, it begins. Turn on hydraulic breaker, press B, and start braking. because they're rocks they are quite tough there we go <laughs> I 
actually there was something really satisfying about that and yeah they've turned into pebbles or smaller rocks and these can be scooped up and sold at the debris crusher so that's one done I guess if you are allowed to sell them in a contract not sure if you are allowed to uh, it would be wise to scoop them up as you go otherwise it's going to be easy to lose them especially if the flag is now gone I see more flags yes now that I've seen one I can see them all almost <laughs> uh, yeah there's definitely a few over here actually I think that one we started off with was maybe the biggest it was huge these likely won't take quite as much work uh, I think if I just do it in various areas just to weaken them definitely do a good amount of hammering here there we go okay so the, I actually missed the, the first rock disappearing it sort of just fades away and then you get the, uh, the pebbles at the end so that's two done 20% of the way there Maybe these never disappear. Maybe you can just come back and scoop them up whenever you fancy. These are things we'll have to work out. But, to be honest, I think it would make sense if you if you can't. I'm not saying you can't, but, yeah. We have rocks on our own land, so we might as well just take the rocks off our land. Okay, right, well, I'm going to continue. I'm going to get all ten done, and then we should be able to collect the money. And at this rate, because this is really easy, uh, we'll probably do the other contract as well. We'll get both done. One thing's for sure, this job will be much easier in the winter when the leaves are off the trees. So, yeah, we're almost there. There is another one lurking somewhere. Just one left. It's also a very good job they have flags in them because otherwise I would never find them. I've been looking everywhere and all that time it was pretty much just behind me. If we owned a skid steer, or if you own all the equipment required, then that's very easy money. But because we have to rent it, pretty much I think it's breaking even on this job. But there we go, done. So we'll collect the money from that. £3,850. Yes, the debris has disappeared. So you might have been able to scoop it up before you collect the money. Uh, we have an, another rock removal job, as I said, so we'll accept the contract on that. Farmland 6, which was somewhere over here. Yep. So actually from this location, it's very close. It's just the other side of the old sawmill. So I'll just uh, get this thing loaded back up onto the trailer. And once we're done with that, well I suppose actually taking it over to our farm would be a great idea. Break up some rocks there. And then, yes, we'll return the breaker and we'll get the stump grinder fitted. I really want to buy the uh, the Volvo Globetrotter, but sadly we don't have the money. That is a lorry which I've been really looking forward to, but we'll get it one day, hopefully not too long, just can't spend all the money at once.
Well, I'd say this one is even more tricky. These rocks are, are quite hard to find. Good grief, where did that go? Oh well, <laughs> it accepted it. Um, yeah, so we've got five more. Still five more. I reckon I would be best in some foot, actually. Because I can't really find any which chance on that main track. And you really don't have to walk far before you're outside of that circle. Ah, I, th I think actually we're spreading out this way. That's two. Looking good. Oh, I see another one over there. Yep, so this is the side I haven't been on. The nice thing about this is, because I'm transporting on the trailer, it means that we're not really putting many hours on the skid steer, so we can do quite a lot in one hour, the one hour rental, without incurring another fee. So yeah, certainly got three here. There goes that one. At least two more in this direction. I suspect there's probably more than two. I, I keep driving past them. I've just done it again. Those flags, I, I think it's probably the leaves because it's just blending in so nicely. They're in disguise. In the middle of winter, when there's no leaves on the trees, those flags, I'm sure, will stand out. I couldn't be doing this at a worse time of year. And then we've got that one over there. I should I think leave us with two oh there's another one there so it'll leave us with one it's looking very promising right it's the last one that I could see so there is another one somewhere somewhere that I can't see but there we go one rock remaining So I will locate it and we'll get it broken up. There it is. Almost where we started, lurking in the undergrowth. Like rocks do. Yeah, if that tree in front of it didn't have leaves, I would have seen it instantly. I'll make a note that, yeah, next time I do a contract for rock removal, I'll do it in the middle of winter. But anyway, there we go. Once again, we have finished another rock removal contract. So we've made a bit of money there. Very nice. There's also a harvesting contract. I was not expecting to see that. But we won't be doing it. Not at the moment. So let's get this taken back to the farm. I'm going to break some rocks up over there. Uh, we can't scoot them up at the moment because we don't have a front loader. I could get a bucket rented for this. But I really don't think it'd be worth it because... It's a, they're only going to the uh, debris crusher. We don't make much money from them. Oh, I've not strapped it on. Crikey, could have lost it. This thing's on higher. back at the farm. So as you can see, I do actually have the stump grinder as well now. It's not being transported in the best way possible, but there it is. Yes, expert delivery. Um, so we'll just first of all do our rock breaking. Um, I'm not going to find all of them. I'm not even concerned about finding all of them. Just to do a few. That'd be good. And uh, yeah, actually once I have done this, I'm going to Put some uh, dirt down, maybe some concrete, because then we can really see where the yard is going to be. And I will also ensure that I do not miss any stumps, because that would be awful if I missed the stumps.
our land is so extensive. And we do have some dead trees. I think probably the dead trees are worth selling. And then we'll take the good trees to the uh, productions. Yeah, dead wood I don't think is ideal. It's probably got rot in it. Maybe some parasites as well. Um, right, so yeah, it's just amazing how much land we own. I haven't made use of it yet. We've got some clearings. We've definitely got space to put some more trees in if we want to. Um, but we'll probably be clearing some areas. Maybe we could even put a field in here. We, we are free to do whatever we want. That's what's so brilliant. And I think we do kind of own the lake. Oh no, that's deep. A very realistic looking lake. It looks fantastic. Very nice. We even own the other side of it, so yeah, it's brilliant this. Except I can't see what I'm doing because I'm stuck in the bulrushes. I think it's probably not the best place for me. And actually, to be honest, I am I'm done with the uh, the stone the rock breaking. There will be more. We'll get this one over here. Yeah, there'll definitely be more. But it's just not a priority. We need to move on to stump grinding. It is satisfying. When you see it crack, that's the best part. And you don't know when it's going to go. There we go. <laughs> right, uh, so actually, because our land has taken us all the way down here, we're pretty close to the store, so I can just go and return the attachment. If I know how to get out of my own land. Somewhere over here. If we weren't trying to make money, I would keep it natural. But we do need to make some use of this land. Now every time I see a rock I want to break it. I guess that's the best approach anyway. If we see one we'll break it, if we don't we'll return it. Return the attachment. Oh there's loads in there. Oh. Okay well let's just see quickly. Very quickly. Probably two, actually. It could be worse. But whenever we get a front loader, we will get these all scooped up and we'll take them to the debris crusher. And finally, this one. Hmm, I've ended up at a different level crossing, and that's not really gone to plan. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Well, that's going to be a difficult one to explain to the hire company. But that was good fun. Yeah, I, I do like the uh, hydraulic braking. I'll see you back over at the farm with the stump grinder. There we go. Right, uh, so it looks like we do have like a gravelly forest sort of floor here. Let's go into landscaping, painting, and I'll see if I can locate it. I think it's like a mixture actually, it looks like a mixture of two. Uh, it's not really essential that we get the same texture. Of course, this is costing us, so we don't want to do more than we have to. That's probably a sufficient area. We don't have money to burn here, so we just can't keep going. Oh, a log. But that has really revealed the stumps and... Yeah, it's uh, looking like a good area, this. It's a yard extension that has to happen, I reckon. Right, let me 
get used to these controls. Seems to be fairly self-explanatory. Goodbye, stump. Although progress, as usual, does feel slow, if you look at how far we've come already, it's actually quite impressive. Already on yard extensions. So I'm now going to do the rest of them and then it will be time to return this. Mmm, um, lovely. Eating logs. Eating stumps. <laughs>
we are, we're there. So not 10,000, 5,400, I was almost there. <laughs> Only just over half. Uh, right, so, yeah, not that we can do anything with it at the moment, but as soon as we can afford the iron furnace, we are going to get this going. Because it's just going to be such an interesting thing to do. And, uh, yeah, we, we do need it to do, as I said, these different productions. That's nice. Very nice. So we will return to this in a future episode. I just know that some people uh, will be asking me to uh, have a go with it. Because it is here. It's free to use. Back to the yard. I thought it would be quite nice to put a fence around here. Because although we get a very good view, it is like a sheer drop. I just hope we can afford it. Nothing expensive. Just to put a boundary, but not even a boundary actually, just to make it a bit safer. Oh, it's quite expensive, isn't it? That should do. And I think it makes it look a lot better. Hopefully you agree. So we've done hydraulic braking. Next time, I think it's going to be worth bailing the field. It will be November. In fact, we can rest. What we'll do is we'll go to bed and um, we can hopefully deliver that last pallet of railings. Because that'll be the first thing done for the roller coaster. Not the first step done, just the first material delivered. Just checking used machinery. Yeah, nothing there for us, I don't think. It's always going to be worth checking. And we do have a log over here, so I'll pick this log up. We're going to that production anyway, so we might as well take it. And you may think this trail is too small. It is, but it's also very handy. I wouldn't have been able to move these pallets and odd jobs like this. We wouldn't have been able to move this log. But I do feel that we need a front loader fairly soon. Oh, look at that. We've got a different pallet that's spawned. We have got our bowls. Basic bowls. So I don't think the um, roller coaster is going to need bowls. So that can be sold when the price is at its best. And when I looked last time, the price didn't really seem to move too much. So probably any time. up or down and we're currently in November which is pretty much the best time it is the best time 5895 I think is the best one there seems to be um, yeah so Sunnyside Cafe where is that from here please be close it's across the road good it's there <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get that loaded up and we'll get it sold from our own trees. That's a nice feeling. Uh, that seems to be the place. We'll let them know they have a bowl delivery. Happy scoop! I fancy a happy scoop. Ice cream. There, that's paid for the uh, fence. So we've got £51,000. We'll rent the baler next time. We're going to have to probably rent a bigger trailer as well. And, yeah, actually, can we fit a front loader to this tractor? Because that would be so useful. Front weight, fender. I don't think you can. Okay. I wonder how much those wheel loaders are. I think the, the thing is the prices on this... Um, I guess we could use the one up at the quarry. 40,000. Yeah, the prices may be reflecting what they were years ago. Anyway, yeah, we, we do need to get some kind of front loader. I just assumed that was the uh, railings, but it's not. These are pepper grinders. So now we can sell pepper grinders. Who has the best price for... Probably the same place, actually. I should have just taken both. Pepper grinder, anybody? It is the same place. It would be ideal if the wheel loader was in the sale. I'll keep an eye out. So yeah, there we go, 4,141 pounds. Very good. So we actually don't have enough railings 
available just yet. Uh, we do have enough to finish the project, but yeah, we need to wait for the... Well, unless we distribute, but yeah, we need to wait for the 1,000 litre pallet to spawn. Which, as it turns out, is in a few minutes' time. We have 994 litres. I'll just increase the rate of time, and it should appear now. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's get that taken over to the roller coaster. This man just got angry with me for parking on the pavement. I do apologise. He doesn't seem to realise that we're rebuilding the roller coaster for him. He looks like the kind of person that would enjoy roller coasters. So as I said, we actually do have more here than what they need. They only need about 15 litres. But I'm hoping we can sell it anyway, or move on to the next step. Yeah, 3,303 pounds. Very nice. Um, so yeah, in just a few seconds time, you can see it says at the bottom right, staircase railing. That's a decreasing number. And now it's at zero, so now it's, it's no longer required. But it has put the others into storage. That's good. So I think next time, yeah, we're going to be focusing on sorting out some more of these as well as bailing. Um, yes. We're going to have to buy some of the things, probably planks, that sort of thing, from the sawmill. The new sawmill, which is just over here. Yeah, you can buy things from here. But that'll be next time. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.